Ah! <laughs> this is the hardest core of pornography. And this is what we're gonna do with it. Ah! Oh man, it's owned by the saloon now. I have to go over there and get it. I was gonna give the porn to these guys. What are they gonna do with it? I don't know. Look at it. You think it would make them horny? <laughs> Ah, hello, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we found Joshua pacing around outside the bar. Huh? Oh. Jumping on top of the motorcycle. Joshua, don't walk on those. <laughs> what are you doing? You seem anxious. Something on your mind? Actually, there is. Come with me back to my home. We'll discuss it further there. Ooh, sounds serious. Why are we discussing this in the privacy of your home? There's holes in everything, so anybody walking by can hear us. Listen, this is serious. I had plans to destroy the cat machines. They're not right. All this money, illegitimately made. Honestly, I'm glad I never spent any of it. As you can probably tell, they're not here, and I didn't move them. They've been taken. You probably just couldn't find them because we shrunk them down real they tiny. They also left me a surprise behind. I managed to take them down, and I fear it's the MPs again. If I'm right, we need to get rid of them and the cat machines, which is why I need your help. I could have used all that fake money. How did you get yourself into this mess with the MPs again? When you have a way of making millions overnight and you don't clean up your enemies, I think that explains why I have so much heat. Alright, well, where do we start? Check out that body in the kitchen. See so you can find something on him. I- hang on. Body in the kitchen? Is it gonna be your body? Cause apparently you're going hostile! Like they all do! He seemed like he would have been one of the few to not go immediately hostile, but figure this out. I like how you were just backed up against the wall, just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Of course, he's got a fireman's axe! You don't mess around with that! You have a gun! <laughs> yeah! Oh, uh, that sucks. What time is it? Oh, and the body got back up! Put it back down! It's a zombie! A very tenacious zombie! Ah, shit! I'm pissing blood out of my chest. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I was shooting you in the head! That's not what a sucking chest wound is! <laughs> no, you think it's Goes a very long way. Does it now? All right, I'm done wasting shotgun ammo. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Only for a joke. Okay, question: what? How long has this been here? Rigor mortis has not set in, so it must be it's fresh. Pretty new, yes. Operation cleanup. Dear members, we have managed to obtain the machines while Joshua was busy with the courier again. This is good news, but now we need to be prepared. Unlike last time, agents, we need you to eliminate Joshua, the courier, Rocco, and anyone who is a stakeholder in the Avengers. I didn't invest into this. Kill anyone who looked at you funny for all I care. Point is, I don't want to end up like David, trying to be passive and capture people and always try to get them to see our ways. Do what you must be. Rocco will probably know who he is since it's for the MPs again. Let's go ask him. Who? What? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was too busy firing a machine gun indoors. He's talking about Rocco! Uh, B. B for B, like he's buzzing? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Wow! Someone's a fan! Oh! Hey, you good? Did you get one of your testicles replaced? Ha oh! Ha ha ha! How did you get here from the UK? A good question with a long answer. I used to live near Manchester, the outer region specifically. I don't know where that is. I'm ignorant. I eventually wanted to go somewhere else. It seems like the rest of England was just like home. Not much going on. Covered in ghouls. Irradiated. So I headed up to Liverpool where there were some docks and I bumped into a fellow who was selling spaces on his boat to go to the US. We got talking and he said the US is like the UK but there's more to it. That and the women are prettier. I don't know if that's true. Since I probably believe the second part, the first part must have been two to some degree, right? Logic doesn't check out there. Anyway, I packed my bags, paid up, got on board, and soon we were in the US. We arrived at North Carolina, then I ventured through Tennessee, Arkansas, got this rifle in Texas, then New Mexico, Arizona. Where'd you get that axe? And finally, New Vegas, Nevada. Quite the journey, but worth it when you think of a city untouched by nukes and full of desires. You know. We never really asked you, what did you do in England? I used to help Henry defend the town, go to the Winchester, have a pint, <laughs> and let it all blow over. <laughs> God damn it! After doing that on repeat for a few years, you kind of lose hope that there's more to it. Well, at least I did. Growing up, I was a bartender for a short while. It didn't pay well, and the clients were ramblers. 
And apart from the mountain of battle stories I have, that's pretty much it, really. Let's get a move on. So I guess we're going- Ah, my arm feels like it's facing the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for interrupting me. <laughs> we'll give him a stim bag. <laughs> Stop making those noises, that's weird. Well, I guess we'll go find, uh... Oh my god, look at all this blood! Where'd that come from? I wish it would snow. Oh, that's right, it's Joshua's. <laughs> it's Joshua's from when he suddenly attacked you he for went no crazy. reason. Yeah, big fan he is! <laughs> he was trying to supplant you. Dream on, Joshua! You know, I couldn't tell but notice you have a new Geiger counter. Yes, I have a new Geiger counter. Did your old one break? No. Why do you need a new one? Because I like Geiger counters. Is that a thing you collect too? Guns, Geiger counters, Magic the Gathering cards. Random crap I find online. Bullet casings, I saw you had a collection of those. I do have a collection of bullet casings. I have many, many fine shell casings. Skulls. Your skull collection isn't even that good. Most of them are modern. Some of them are Autholopithic... Autholopithicus, I think you said? Autholopithicus, yes. Yes. I don't even know you got that one. You rob a museum? I uh, found it. We are outside of New Vegas. This is not where Rocco is. Why are no, we? No, I think Rocco's here. In this underground area by the train. Well, supposedly, that's where my magic compass slash Geiger counter says to go. Well, that's never been wrong. Yes, I have a new Geiger counter. It's a military grade one. Is it better than the last one? It's better in that it's more robust, yes. But your old one wasn't bad. It's just very sensitive. And also, it can break easily. Oh, these were all the corpses where from when we broke oh, out. Oh, yeah, so Rocco should probably be down here. No, Rocco should be back in New Vegas. Why he returned to the scene of the crime? The NCR are flawed when it comes to chain of command. That's the Legion's way of getting at them, really. Um, apparently he's back out this way? Did, wait, did he leave the moment we came in? So we crossed paths? Is that what happened? Entirely possible, because now it's telling me he's back outside. Okay, the moment we jumped into the bunker, he went back to the New Vegas. So here we go! Hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. <laughs> Hello again, the back of Joshua's head! <laughs> what a blast from the past this is! I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Five words. From my cold, dead hands, you filthy frickin' commie. Yeah, I'd never been good with math. Them's the brakes. You want in, you don't bring the guns. All right, Joshua's head, we will acquiesce. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. This place is the bee's knees. Bee's knees, you say? Bees don't it's really smooth. have knees. No, bee's knees, and bee's the one we're looking for. Now that we've found his knees, we need to find the rest of him. Hello, lads. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm glad to see you found vocal cords. I need your help in finding out who bee is. Bee? Sounds like some sugar daddy if you ask me. Anything more specific? Um, we believe that he could be an MP or someone associated with them. Hmm, Boris? Coming to think of it, that's all it could be. Oh, it's Boris Johnson? Not only that, but he writes that way too. We don't get along anymore, but prior to me being imprisoned for hurting their feelings, we were right. Also, Last I heard, there was somewhere around here. They buried all the MPs there. <laughs> well, they didn't. So good luck. <laughs> no, there's still a pile of them down in that bunker. Wait, so you knew him? Yeah, we were good friends too. The MPs were alright. Just recently, they were a little jittery as the NCR or the Legion may catch on to him. Anyway, I'm sure you're busy, so I'll let you go. No, honestly, we don't have anything else we're doing today. Yeah, I'm... Whoa, that's a weird way to bend your wrist. Is that what you're talking about? This yes. <laughs> it does, it, he is bending his wrist quite eccentrically. It's, I can't even. I can't even do how he's doing that. He's got a flair not... for the dramatic <laughs> and having seizures. It seems like. You got any work for us? In fact, I do. He's a little dirty though. Still interested. Zach has no qualms about anything. Almost anything. No fecal matter. Good. Take this. Read it carefully. Any mistakes, deals off. Is he giving out bounties now? Mm-hmm. Well, well, we'll take a look at this and I will get back to you. See you, lads. Gleb, the 34. Location Lucky 38, ground floor, upper bar area. We have to go into the Lucky 38 and kill him? Maybe we can sneak around. Infiltrate the Lucky 38. Because I don't want to talk to Victor. I don't want to talk to Victor either. 
Interesting. Looks like we have a lead. Let's check out the area. We might be able to find out where they went. We're not gonna dig up dead bodies! I'll dig up dead bodies. Why? Because it's fun. Don't worry, we won't. Oh. We'll scout the area and try to find any clues from the funeral. There must be something there. If not... Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. You're saying they held a funeral for David? Who here would mourn David? Uh, the other MPs. They're all dead too, unless there's more of them now. Mm. Alright, well let's get going, we'll find out. Alright, you lead and I'll follow. Ugh, let me re-equip all my crap! <laughs> we gotta hurry up and do the quests in Vegas so they stop taking away your weapons. I think I found the back entrance to the Lucky 38 back here! What, you did? Where? Let's just sneak into this drain pipe. Sneaking, sneaking. I think we, I saw- Oh, bleed, motherfucker, bleed! Oh, okay then! Also dead. Okay, I guess we're not gonna be stealthy after all. You know, traditionally people aren't really allowed in the Lucky 38. How did he get in here? Probably the same we did. We snuck in through the drain pipe. Mm -hmm, fair enough. I have four Geiger counters now. You, you, do you encounter radiation that much? Well, with the radiation sample I have, yes. Oh, that's right, I forgot. You keep a radiation sample under your pillow. It's not under my pillow, it is in my room, though. <laughs> yeah, think maybe that's a bad place to store it? It's a little tiny pebble of cesium... something. I don't remember which type of cesium it is. And it's not that radioactive. If anybody else had said something like that, it would have seemed crazy. But coming from you, for some reason, it seems normal. It is normal. It's normal It's not own, normal! It's normal to own multiple Geiger counters! If I put it in like a small box, it doesn't really spread radiation anywhere. Uh, yeah. And it's not like it's drifting around the room, irradiating everything. It's just a little tiny thing the size of a grain of sand of cesium that just emits a small amount of radiation. It's in like micro rads. It's barely radioactive. So I have two Geiger counters that actually will do stuff now. And that's how I found out my sink was radioactive. Why is your sink- My house and the sink in my house were built in like the 1950s. And at the time period, anything that's made of ceramic that has like this kind of pastel color to it. They also made a bunch of dishes in that time period that were called Fiesta Ware. In order to get that specific color, they actually made a lot of those dishes out of uranium enamel. So your sink is made out of a radioactive substance. Yes. And you keep a radioactive substance in your room while you sleep. Yes. It's not that radioactive. It's about as radioactive as bananas are. Before we head back to Rocco, why don't we head out and try and find that gravesite, investigate it? All right, we'll go dig up some bodies. That might not be what we have to do. We but I want to dig up bodies. You are so weird. I thought he was being nice, until I realized he was one of the guys who used to run the parliament in my area. I asked him why he left, and he said the US is a better place. You can probably see the theme forming here with the US, can't you? Are dinosaurs a pre-pre-war thing or a pre-pre-pre-war thing? <laughs>